up peeps? I know it has been a long while since I last did a video, my apologies for that. It has been difficult finding the time and I just have not had the energy to do this one yet. But here we are today, I am ready to get going. Um, basically, as you've probably figured out from the title and the thumbnail, we are moving these rocks today. <laughs> uh, I have moved these rocks quite a few times now. <laughs> um, they've been all over my island in different um, layouts and whatnot. This was my favourite up until I did one for my daughter. And now I'm going to have to do the same. However, it will be decorated differently than my daughter's one. Um, so yeah, uh, we're going to be moving these. Um, they're going to be going into a lovely little location, which I will just show you now. Now I say lovely little location, it's actually a pretty big location. So they are actually going to be going in this big area here. I have pre-marked out ready. Um, each rock will be in one of these um, where one of the path locations are. Obviously I'm going to move the path before we move the rocks because the rocks won't spawn on top of the path. Um, it's just while I was counting um, squares I was popping them down as to where the rocks would go. Yeah, so this is exactly where they're going. Uh, it's just down from my house. My house is just up there. Uh, yeah, so they're just going in here and I'm going to show you the fastest cleanup method. Um, it's probably the fastest method overall. Um, it is a bit of a nuisance, um, but I would say it is the fastest one overall. So basically, let's jump right in. Uh, let's start in a location up here. Um, there's lots of little areas around my island, which kind of helps in a way as to where to place these. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going into our custom designs, going into your pro designs, and find one of the designs that you can change basically so if you've gone on to the able sisters machine and you've downloaded one say like this one here it's got a little pencil um symbol that has been crossed out which means i cannot change this design because it was designed by somebody else so make sure it was either one like this which is basically one of the ones that you start with or um one that you've designed by yourself so that you can change the design um don't worry too much about the fact that if it's if you're full on designs and you've made them all and you don't want to change them any, don't worry because you can change them straight back again afterwards. Just make sure it's one that you can change, okay? So I'm just going to do this one just because this is just the basic one that comes with the game. And we're going to start placing these down in and around uh, the island. So there is a counting method to this actually, you know what? I'm going to go to a bigger area to show you how to count. Okay, so we are in a bigger area of my island. I'm quite lucky because I don't have very many areas um, that are really open plan like this, um, which actually makes my life slightly easier than it does for you guys that don't have this big open areas. Uh, that, yeah, muddling up my words there. Anyway, I think you get what I mean. <laughs> so to count, basically, Rocks cannot spawn next to these walls. They cannot spawn next to water. Uh, they cannot spawn along this bit here. So along the edge where the sand meets. And they cannot spawn next to buildings. So that's always good to know. They cannot spawn next to most furniture items. So like this all sitting up here, they will not spawn next to any of them. They cannot spawn next to trees. Now they can spawn in amongst flowers. Um, they can spawn next to your paths, but they cannot spawn on the brick paths, but they can spawn on the dirt paths. So keep that in mind. If you have a lot of, so not the custom ones, they will not spawn on any custom path, but if you have a normal dirt path that's in the game from terraforming, they can spawn on the dirt paths. So bear that in mind for when you're placing your mannequins. Okay, so if I... They cannot spawn in this area next to this wall here. And with a mannequin, it works like furniture. 
and they will not spawn in and around the eight spaces around a mannequin. So if I place a mannequin right here, I think that's halfway between a square. Let me get my shovel out and we will count some spaces. So they will not spawn in this space and they will not spawn in this space because this spaces are the ones that, oh, not that one. Ah, that's why we need to push it back. Now, bearing in mind when you're placing the man oh, placing your mannequins, they don't, they don't um, always, you know, they can be placed between squares like I just did there. So I moved it back just to show you. And that one. Okay, so everywhere I have dug up around the mannequin, a rock cannot spawn. <laughs> So when you're placing your mannequins, to save yourself as much time as possible, you leave them eight gaps around your mannequin, and then... For your next mannequin, it also gets eight gaps around it, which means you can have two spaces between each mannequin, and a rock will not spawn there. Because there's eight spaces around this mannequin, and there's eight spaces now around this mannequin, and your rocks will not spawn in any of them spaces. Now it can get really frustrating and annoying actually counting, so I don't do too much counting, but as long as when I'm placing my mannequins just randomly, I'm making sure that each of them sort of spaces are covered around it, then you're basically good to go. Um, like I said, there's not many of them sort of spaces that I'm going to personally have to worry about because I don't have very many of these big open spaces on my island. Most of it's filled with furniture or paths or buildings and stuff. So I don't have to worry about this too much. <laughs> but the more empty big spaces you have on your island, the more mannequins you're going to um, have to place. It's just the way it's. <laughs> so if you have highly decorated your island, you won't really have to worry too much because you probably won't really have to place that many mannequins down. Okay. <laughs> now we've kind of got the basics of it. I think I will show you a little bit of me just placing the mannequins down. Yes, this is a very tedious process and your best bet is, is if you think you've placed one, say I've placed it there, but maybe one could spawn over here possibly, although I'm not sure if it could or not because there's a tree there, it just depends on where the squares meet and whatnot. It probably could have spawned where I just placed that mannequin, so that's why I've gone and placed one there. Um, they can spawn in amongst all these things that you've dropped here, so make sure you're going around each square. I could possibly have one spawn in here because it kind of they don't really overlap there where the edge is and where the mannequin meets so I'll put one there oops and then I should I think only need one in there but I'm gonna place another one up here just in case I'd say if you're not sure place a mannequin <laughs> just place one anyway. Um, you're better off spending the extra couple of seconds to just place that extra mannequin than you are for time traveling and ending up moving a rock to a completely wrong location basically. Um, if you're worried about time traveling loads of days in one go and you're worried that a rock is going to spawn in a completely wrong location and you don't want to time travel the six days to then discover it's in the wrong spot. Do it one day at a time. You can smash all six of your rocks on the first day which I will be doing on the day that we're on just now and then just time travel forward one day at a time. Only one rock will spawn each day so 
you know, you can keep checking in and making sure that they are actually spawning correctly each day. But what I tend to do is, is I just jump forward all six days in one go um, because it's the fastest method and if any of them have spawned in the wrong location then it's, it's usually a quick easy fix. Um, I've never had it where none of them have spawned in the right locations or anything so I should be fine. Um, if you see what I mean here I haven't really counted the spaces. I've kind of just been guessing by eye. I think it would take a lot longer to count every single space than it is just randomly placing mannequins. I mean, the trees themselves do help. Now you can do this same method and you can place furniture down, you can cover your whole island in paths, However, this is the easiest cleanup method there is. I think I've gone and fucked up here. <laughs> if you're in doubt, just place another mannequin. Yeah, this is the absolute easiest cleanup method. Um, which I will show you why once we've moved our rocks. <laughs> I think that area is sorted. Okay, so you kind of get the idea. I'm going to cover my island in mannequins and I will meet you back in a few seconds. <laughs> okay, and once the island is uh, completely covered in mannequins, we're going to come back to where you're going to put your rocks, where they're going to spawn, and you're going to fill your bags with your bag with a hundred bell stacks. This I find is the best method for doing it in and around where your rocks are going because the mannequins can stop the rocks spawning if you put them in the wrong sort of location. So I do have the mannequins around the outside-ish <laughs> of my rock area. However, if I put them any closer, it could stop the rocks spawning. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open my bag and we're gonna go to the 100 bells and we're gonna drop them on the floor. Don't worry if they fall on the spaces where the rocks are going to spawn because you can just pick them up afterwards anyway. Okay, so we're going to do that around all six spots where the rocks are going to spawn. And at the end of the day, they're really easy to pick back up again anyway. Okay, so I'm going to do that and I will meet you back in a few seconds. Okay, that's like really tedious, but here we go. So you don't need to go right up to the mannequins because these spots should be sorted out by the fact that they have that eight space around them. So what next I'm going to do is pop on my island designer. Uh, whether you need to do this or not depends on whether you've placed a path down to mark out where you want the rocks to go. If not, don't worry about this step. I'm just doing it so I can get rid of these. Because that will be where my rocks are spawning. <laughs> One thing to bear in mind is, is if you have a lot of furniture and decoration on your island, it's going to lag a little bit. <laughs> I am a bit laggy right now. Um, <laughs> you could tell um, it was getting laggier as I was placing more and more mannequins down. And the gold, the bells as well. Okay, so next thing you're going to want to do is get six fruit. And I will meet you back in a second. Okay, once you've got your fruit, go up to where your rocks are or wherever they are on your island, whether they're scattered about or whatnot, and you're going to eat your fruit. Do a double check of your island. Run around your island and just see if you've maybe possibly missed any spaces anywhere where you could fill in again um, that maybe you, you'd missed the first time around. So just do a quick sweep of your island just to have another little look. Um, this next bit will depend on whether you're skipping one day at a time or six days in all in one. It's up to you if you want to just break one rock and then skip ahead a day and then see if it's spawned in the right location. Or you can go ahead and just break all six rocks. 
and again you can either go one day at a time or you can just do what I'm gonna do and skip all six days you can still regularly like you don't even have to time travel if you don't want to time traveling is just something that I've always done and it's literally the fastest Ooh, I didn't mean to do that no we'll just leave that on for now it's all good going back into custom designs I'm gonna fill in this space. This is all gonna be changed up here. I'm gonna be terraforming it once so we finish with the rocks and stuff, but um we'll just pop these down for now. I'll do the terraforming layer. Just fill in the rest of this. What you've got to remember is, is if you don't dig up your fossils, if you don't bother digging up the glow spot every day, that is not going to be there the next day when you time travel or if you're just going along in the normal days. So take that into consideration when you're placing your mannequins, make sure that it's going to cover that spot when that fossil or glow spot or whatever it is, is no longer going to be there. You want to make sure you've got it covered when it despawns the next day. So I think we should be okay here. Now is the moment of truth. So what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna save the game. Save and end. And this is whether you want to time travel or not time travel, just play as you go along. You can obviously still play the game when all the mannequins are there. It's just going to be a bit of a pain in the ass. Another thing to note is, is I use the bells for putting in and around where my rocks are going to go. You can use the likes of weeds or flowers if you like, if you prefer. However, I find the bells is just the easiest cleanup because you're not having to dig them, you're not going to break your shovel, you just pick them up and they go straight into back into your bell bag. It's the easiest method for me. Do whatever you feel most comfortable with. Now we're going to quit out of the game and I'm going to skip ahead six days. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. You don't need to time travel if you don't want to time travel. Do not panic. You will just have to play the game for about a week with all your mannequins on your island. So whether you can deal with that or not, it's entirely up to you. That would frustrate me so much. I'm time traveling. <laughs> now we have the moment of truth. This may take a little bit longer to load into the game because it's got a hell of a lot more items on the island to load in. We have a lot of mannequins, we have a lot of bells sitting on the floor. I already have a lot of furniture on my island, it's highly decorated. So this may take a little bit longer than what you're used to, don't panic, it will log in eventually. <laughs> As you can see, it's taken a while. So, uh, moment of truth. We're going to go see if all six rocks have spawned in the correct location or if I have made a mistake. I have no snow anymore. That's interesting. What day does the snow leave <laughs> within that six day period anyway? This bit always makes me so nervous. It's literally the easiest bit, but it determines whether or not we have to time travel forward again. Because if you time travel backwards, a rock won't spawn in. Like, if you time travel forward again, it will spawn, but you have to go forward for them to spawn. You can't go back. Okay, campsite, fair enough. Come on, come on, come on. I'm so excited. <laughs> it's been a long time I've been wanting to move these rocks, and I'm so glad I'm finally getting around to it and to show you as well, because that's why I haven't moved them yet. I could have just done it in my own time, but I wanted to make sure I was recording it. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Boom. Oh, that never happens first time for me. So that just shows that I was very thorough. I did a double check of my island just to make sure that all the mannequins were in the places that they needed to be. And I am so glad that's done. Oh my god, I'm so happy. So now it's the easy bit. Okay. 
if I stand here, you can see all my mannequins. They're all over my island. They're everywhere. I was very thorough. If there was any place I wasn't sure could spawn a rock, I put a mannequin down. You're better taking that extra couple of seconds just to put the mannequin down than to have to try and travel or wait a whole other day to move the rock again. Okay? If your rock hasn't spawned in anywhere on your island, it usually means where your rocks are wanting to go, where you want them to go, there's possibly something too close to where you're wanting it to spawn. Potentially a wall. If you can move a wall back just while you're spawning the rocks in, if you can move furniture out of the way just to get it in in the first place, then you can decorate it afterwards. So if there's a wall too close or something like that, that's usually why they won't spawn in at all. If you cannot find it anywhere on your island, it's because there's something usually too close, okay? So just bear that in mind. If there's a river or something, just fill it in until you've moved your rocks. And then you can just put it back again afterwards. It's not an issue, okay? So yeah, here we go. Nice and easy cleanup. We are going to go into your custom designs find the one that you were placing and click change design. Now this is why you need to make sure it is a design that you can change. So the likes of this one would not have worked. It doesn't work if you erase it. It will just make them all white. Please remember that. Change design. You need to be able to draw on the design. Yes, we'll just go ahead with whatever one it is before. Pick a colour, we're going to go right up here. You can see I've done it already before previously. Click done. S confirm. That saved that tiny little dot that you cannot even see. And oh look, et voila. All the mannequins have disappeared. <laughs> Easiest cleanup ever. Like I said, you could have used paths. You could have used weeds, but if you use them, you then have to run around to clean them all up again afterwards. This is the easiest method. Use the mannequins, people. It makes life so much easier. Yes, it's tedious laying them all down, but it would be exactly the same for the paths and the weeds. Easiest cleanup, nice and quick. Rocks are where I want them to be. It's just a case of now picking up all my bells. I was really lucky this time that it happened first time for me. Um, most of the time when I've been moved, I've, mo I've moved my rocks quite a few times now, <laughs> I will admit. Uh, they've been in quite a few different places uh, over my island, but um, hopefully I'm never going to move them again now. Um, I was really lucky it happened first time, and usually when I do it, there's usually at least one or two that have maybe spawned in a completely different location on my island because I've missed a spot. Uh, but I think I've been doing this so many times now. I've done my daughter's ones as well for her um, that I've been so used to being really thorough with it. And, um, I've been getting better and I've been getting a lot faster. But it does help having a highly decorated island because you're not having to place as many mannequins down. So yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. I would love to see some links to your Instagram or Twitter or whatever it is that you post the photo up if you decide to move your rocks. I'm pressing buttons everywhere. I'm gonna put them down. Yeah, I hope you like this. Please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for future videos. I do want to do more videos like this. However, I'm trying to, I'm not, I'm struggling trying to think of ideas, but I've been wanting to do this one for a really long time. If there's anything you're struggling on in Animal Crossing, let me know in the comments below and I will try my best to make a video on it for you. Um, that would be fine. <laughs> just let me know if there's something you're struggling on or I could even help you. I can just type, you know, either or. Um, I have a few different uh, tutorial videos now. Some of them are really easy, some of them may be a bit more difficult. This is really easy, it's just time consuming and tedious. It is so easy to do. And I would love to see your designs if you choose to move your rocks around on the island. I mean, you've seen at the start of the video, I had mine in a little semicircle. I used to have the, um, the Stonehenge statue sitting in the middle of it. That's up by my museum now though, because I'm moving everything anyway. 
So yeah, I would love to see your designs. Let me know. Please let me know if you like this video. And please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for future videos. And I will hopefully catch you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.